Getting mana to this will be a challenge. Um, okay, this changes the Z. This mana pool is at 687. That's 13 right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have pixie dust and an earth rune? A recessive spark down there would be really helpful. We have the pixie dust. Ooh, and the earth rune. And, oh, we need, I need mana steel, which I think I have to make more of. Alright. Iron. Put the saplings in there. Okay, so then we take iron, pixie dust, and the earth rune gives us a recessive spark augment. And I want it on there. Nope. And it's pushing to this one, which is close enough to pull the dominant spark to pull. Yep. Okay. There's my little battery bank right here, which will ultimately um we'll get dominant sparks on all of those. We need fire runes for that, and I have to craft them, which is why I'm trying to get mana over here, which is going to require probably chaining um, mana spreaders, because I doubt well, that's pretty far to go straight down. Uh, <laughs> Did I put the- I did. I put the extra mana pools I had away. I want to see where I want the mana pool, and we get- try to get stuff to it from there. So if I want to put the mana pool for this, Can't put it under it because I'm going to be putting a dropper with a wand in it to trigger it. If we put it... okay. Let's, let's think this through here. Since I was going to make this a gazebo, let's actually make the little arches so that we can place the mana pool in the arches. And the arches were going to be with a solid living wood wall. And we're going to have three, four. Four sounds good. I'm going to need these on top. 
need to make some brick stairs. Oops. So let's go do that. I don't know why I need to keep going back over here exactly. I have you. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's start with the area that we're going to need to try to get mana down to, which is probably here. No. Yay, it's raining. The creeper wants me. Hi. And I think we can do all of them. Um, do we want... I... I'm considering the chiseled marble, the chiseled living rock, this stuff. <coughs> Sorry about that, I had to emergency mute there. And... Problem I'm going to face. <laughs> I don't have any happy blocks. Let's put you there. And then we'll take out to the living wood. do more stairs and have those here. I have uh, I have slabs but because Living Rock has Batania does really well at providing all the building blocks. Hey, now I have two creepers who want me. So there's that. Now what I'm thinking is if I can get if I can get the mana to here, that would be awesome. Let's at least point this that way and see how far it goes, I'm likely going to have to bounce it. Yeah, see that pink dot? That pink dot says that anything further than that means you're losing mana in the transmission of it. So what I'm going to want is another mana pool further up and then come down from there. So close. I'm going to need to make another, um, mana spreader or, let's see, so what I might do, I put it in this tree, um, How do you do reaching this? You reach it just fine. Okay. 
So if we have it go there, and what we could do, that's close enough for spark transfer from here to there if we put a dominant spark here. Again, I need fire runes to do that. Um, we could make a couple. Let's see if we have the supplies to make a couple now that I have a bit of um, mana available to me. I do need to make another spreader first in order for the um, runic altar to work. It doesn't work on anything but a spreader. So there's the spreader that will point to the runic altar. Let's free up some space. Now, the fire rune is gunpowder, nether wart, and... Okay, there's the gunpowder. Nether wart. Nether brick. Oh, I need... No, I have mana steel, so I just need the mana powder. And then I have living rock, so let's get this set up real quick. Elven mana spreader. It might be worth swapping this one out. With you. Let me have you. Alright. Not a lot of man in there. We'll see if we can get it done. <laughs> we need more mana. Let's grab some more. Did I put the... Oh, I put the tablets away, didn't I? Mmm, mana lenses. That's something else that'll be nice to use. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Let's make a few dominant spark augments to use. Um, I don't need the sparks. Pixie dust, mana steel, fire runes. going to have a dominant spark here and this one's going to be a dominant spark too. There's a start. And what I'm going to end up doing is putting 
a mana lens on here, probably for efficiency and potency. Hopefully it'll still reach, because I know one of those shortens the distance that it can reach. Um, but there we've got mana transfer to our runic altar. And so that's cool. I do need to connect these, but I'll figure that out. Um, since they're at an angle, I'm not sure how I want to connect them. Um, what color is my mana flash? Is it white? Yes. Let's put some light here. There we go. So there's a start. It is, feels a lot better getting things established this way. Definitely feels good. Um, things are getting lit up in ways that I want them to as well. This tree will eventually get leaves on it. And more branches and whatnot. Um, we need to make more dominant sparks. I need to put a dominant spark here. Um, no, I need two dominant sparks here and here. So, and a regular spark here, so it keeps these full. These are the ones that run the portal. Did this end up moving then, this rail? Yep, and it got stuck. Okay. So let's fix that. It got stuck on this. Yep. Oops. And then here, the same thing. And that should be it. Yep, it's filling it up. Okay, so those two have been checked and corrected. The only one we need to still check is when this one goes through. To see if these areas it doesn't get caught on, which it probably will. <laughs> but we'll know in time. This one a bit longer, obviously. Um... Yeah. All right, it is time for me to feed the kitty cats and take a quick five minute break. I will be back for another hour of Minecraft here on the Simple Life 2 server. So don't go anywhere, I will be right back. Okay, let's get back into it, shall we? What should we work on next? Let's see. Um, hmm. It's certainly work on augmenting this setup here. Um, unfortunately for planting it only works with vanilla crops. So that's why there's potatoes because it's the best and easiest to um, to set up this way. And this is a riskable builds farm. It's cheap to make early so it's good for early game. We're not early game anymore. <laughs> So, I don't need to automate more than like one or two of each flower since my goal is to automate all of the flowers. Some of them are going to be way more complex. Um, do I have the lexica in here or... there it is. <clears throat> Entropinium, that's always a fun one. Uh, that one I should be able to automate in a similar fashion to the Thermal Lily. This one does not look like... This one hasn't been thrown into the um, 
portal. The other one has wherever it is. I have several of these, so let's do this. There we go. Whoa! All sorts of things there. Okay. This will have more flowers in it, guys. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have the hydrangeas to do. Again, this is something that I need to automate. Crafting hydrangeas. They're not hard to craft, they're just some petals in a petal apothecary, but I don't have the petal apothecary automated. And so I would to, we'll need to really work on that. And I know there's a way to automate the adding of water to it. And dropping everything else in there is possible. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, in order to do this, I would need to automate crafting the flowers. And I'm not ready to do that because you also need to do it for the Rafflausia. Um, the Rafflausia eats man-made flowers. Like the Hydroangia. You can't feed them one flower, the same type of flower, you have to switch them up. So if you made the hydrangea, you'd also have to make the end of flame and just feed it one of those and one of the other. So I was going to wait to do the hydrangea until I already had the crafting of the flowers for the Rafflausia. Um, but... We could do the entrepinium. I don't have a whole lot of gunpowder, and I was going to wait till I had a woot farm set up for that. Oh, which by the way, if you watched yesterday's stream, and I had I ended it because I couldn't figure out why the woot farm wasn't craft creating, wasn't forming. It's because the tier one um, end capstones do not need to be there for tier two and up. They're actually other stones. So I didn't know that. Yeah, figured it out. Um, there's the cake and murus, which we need to work on our Pam's Harvest Craft um, wheat, and we don't have eggs at all, really. I think I have seven eggs, so we would need to work on having eggs. I have milk, so we would need to be able to craft cake for the cake and murus. So there's some work for that. The munch do we could do. Uh, it requires a tree farm. Mm -hmm. um, can I craft just the leaves with, um, no, I can dupe them. That might be worth considering. I was wondering if I could just craft the leaves from Nature Essence. I'm pretty sure I can craft the saplings, can I? Yeah, I need to probably... I don't have this in a cloche. I don't think I have Nature Essence in a cloche either. So we would need to set up a tree farm or a way to dupe the flowers with that, um, that catalyst, you know, the flowers, the, the leaves, and then place leaves for the munch dew to eat them. That is doable. Um, I'll probably do that. What else do we have in here? <clears throat> the Rosa Arcana. This one's one I could do. Um... Because this one's not necessarily an automated farm. I mean, I can. It just needs a mob farm. Mm-hmm. 
which what would be fun to do with this is to see if I could make a spawner farm. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. I'm thinking probably just a darkroom spawner. Ooh, a darkroom spawner that is above our cave illuminator so that it, the cave illuminator doesn't light it up. So that is one that um, our cave illuminator is over here somewhere. So we would need to do above this Y level, do the darkroom spawner so that this doesn't light up the darkroom spawner. The one thing about darkroom spawners is they're ugly. <laughs> they be ugly. Um, hmm. Otherwise the Rosa Arcana would just be, it takes my XP, so it would eat my XP points. So, I mean, for that, I can just put the flower down somewhere. Uh, let's make it. It's not expensive to make. I don't think I have a mana rune. Water. Pretty sure it's mana. Yep. So, mana pearl, five mana steel. The mana pearl part we need to do. We have living rock. Alright, so we have that. So that'll go I'm just trying to think the three spots we have currently set up for mana transfer to the tree there's one here one here and one here we have another rail set up underneath here on this side that we could put it over here but my problem again is this is below the cave illuminator, and if I put a ugly dark room spawner over here, well, I'm sure I could make it look cool, but um, a spawner trap over here. Hmm. You know. Um, we could do that a different way, a fun, non-efficient, non-efficient way. There is a flower that attracts, I wonder if it attracts mobs. Hmm, I know there's one that keeps mobs in place. So prevent them from getting out. Tiger's Eye has to do with creepers. Um, Thank you, Lotus has to do with Endermen to keep them from teleporting away. Um, this would certainly be a useful flower to use. We don't have a whole lot of Endermen here. It keeps them from teleporting away, and when they do teleport, it will pull them to the Vinculotus. Um, so Lignolia has to do with hindering magnets. Spectranthium this. Um, hmm.
I have to tell her once another of these flowers can't be used on the same item. I'm not quite sure what that means. Works within 12 blocks. Um, I'm not quite sure I understand this flower. That's okay. This places things in the world. This makes animals breed. Here's where you do your quarrying. Um, Medjumon makes things stop moving. My amorphosis, I know what that does. This gives you dungeon loot. Wonder if these drop XP. If they do, we could combine the Rosa Arcana to eat the XP, and we would get dungeon loot as well. Um, this prevents things from getting nearby. This is a poison flower. and brings them down to one hit kill. So this is useful for spawners where you want the XP. Upper Hawk, I know. This will make mobs attack each other. This might be fun to use, but you don't get XP when a mob attacks another mob. You only get XP when the player kills the mob. All right, well, it's worth considering, thinking about what do we have in here? It's a mana storm charge. I know what these are. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Learning some things, guys. I want to make these chakrams now that I can. I hate bows, and I heard the chakrams were really cool. So many awesome things in here. Ah, uh, yes, that's what that is. Still have never made a Terra Shatterer. That would be nice to have. Terra Steel Armor is something that I still have a goal to have. Requires the seasonal runes and a bunch of Terra Steel, which we don't have the mana for. Mm -mm -mm. World Shapers Astrolab. Any total place down blocks. Start off, shift right, click the Astrolab on a block in the world. This will set the block that will be placed. Shift right clicking with the Astrolab in the air will change how many blocks will get placed. This is sort of like world edit. Interesting. 
I've never looked at that before. Oh, we got all the bottles I've not looked into either. All this fun stuff that I've just not looked at. What is this? Triple jump. Wow. Tiny Planet is something I've seen people use in automating some things that look really cool. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get to that point. Corporea, this is something that I've done before. We don't need to do that in this playthrough because we have refined storage, but Corporea is how Batania does its storage and auto crafting um, for the mod. So you can do all sorts of auto crafting, you can do all sorts of fetching storage from different places. Um, it's really useful, really cool, and very unique. So, there's the luminizers that I want to play with. These are cool. Um, Star Collar I've played for. It's really neat. I need to actually make a Terra Blade. I wish I had none. Oh, you know what? We should finish this, otherwise it's just gonna create blue lightning forever, isn't it? Alright. What petals do we need? Two pink, two purple, one lime. Do I have my petal? Ouch. I can spend forever looking at the book. There's so much stuff to do. Um, two purple. Two pink, one lime, and we need to clear some space in our inventory for crafting, and we also need a seed. I have a seed. Ooh, I have a seed. There we go. Rose Arcana. Now, if we put this down here, this will work for now. Temporary spot. It's bound to that mana spreader and it's eating my experience. There we go. It ate all my experience. Great. <laughs> oh, is this one still sitting here? It is. Yeah. I wonder how much longer it's got. No, oh, can't go there. Whether you automate the crafting of flowers or not, you might want to have a small wheat farm for seeds near your Britannia place. I I agree because I don't know eh yeah I I would need that hmm that's the way that works okay who in the world would spend one emerald for <laughs> Yeah, if I automate flower crafting, I am going to need to do that. You are correct. Um, then again, if you think about it, if I get enough power, I can use refined storage auto crafting to send the items to the petal pop carry. And one of those things will be seeds because I'm getting a whole bunch from my mine colony from the farmer that's currently farming wheat. So there's that thought, but I agree that I'm going to need a lot of seeds. A lot of seeds. So there's another flower down. And... The Antropinium, like I said, I don't have a lot of gunpowder. I think you can 
dupe gunpowder. Oh, you can make it out of flint, so that's super easy. I have lots of flint. So that's worth knowing how how expensive is this guy. Ooh, we haven't even gotten into the tier 3 runes for very many things. Oh, if at all. I've only done seasonal. And that requires winter, earth, and two diamonds. Uh, not a ton of mana. So there's no way I'll get to this today. Um, any other? This flower will be fun to do <laughs> because I don't have sheep. So I don't have wool. I'm struggling for needing wool for mine colonies. Um, I, just, I don't have wool. Um, <clears throat> there's this one sheep over here. I haven't seen another in the whole world. There's this one you. So I don't even think I could- wow, they've got speed buffs. Hi there. I don't even think I could, um, get- make sheep. I'd have to go hunt down, learn Animania, do all of that labor-intensive Animania stuff in order to get wool. Or I would have to have a string farm, or I would have to do a cotton farm. So we have those things to establish. I'm not saying I can't do them, because I would like to at least semi-automate all of the generating flowers, as I have said. It just means more, more work, more work. And I'm getting to the point that I'm just flying around randomly, not sure what to work on. Huh? How are we on flowers? Most of these have two stacks. Very, very good. I have to decide what order to put the flowers if I want them to make like a rainbow effect on the tree. I'd probably start with red. So let's just see the, the, red, the couple of red petals blocks I can make where I would want to put them. I remember correctly, you can't un- Oh, you, you didn't used to be able to uncraft these for some weird reason. So yeah, if I started here, I'm trying to decide if I would want to do like stripes of color. So we've got a red stripe, and then next to it would be another color, and we would just stripe it out. Or if I want to have... I'm concerned about doing just a mix match of fla of leaf colors, because it'll look messy. But if I did something where they were either striped or they were grouped together, that would give it a more interesting look. I could even do like concentric circles. You know, something that gives this tree a unique look to it. Do color groups with the four branches. Yeah, I could. Speaking of branches, I probably need to thicken these out. How am I on wood?
Um, okay. Did I pick them all up? Looks like I did. So let's get this a little thicker because you know branches aren't going to be thin. I just wanted to kind of figure out where they were going to be. This one still needs a mana pool on it for whatever, probably Terra Steel might be this direction. I could do Terra Steel. See, I have that right there. Probably do it somewhere around here. Um, I was gonna do the Munch Dew way underground so it doesn't eat. It doesn't eat my forest. Because I have that to concern myself with. Yeah. Yeah, I like your idea. I like your idea. Um, we do need a lot more petals before that happens. So, I mean, I have that to work with. Yeah, I, I like the idea. You're, you know, that would, if I did the colorways all together, that makes sense. Alright. And how it's connected here might need some work. Alright. Give it, and the ground down here will have to be better shaped. It's not shaped at the moment. I think I did a little bit of shaping in the front. Yeah, a little bit of root shaping in the front, but I haven't done it in the back. So I have that to do. But yeah, get these bulked up a little bit, make them look good even though you won't see them. All right. And looking good. All right. My one question right now is that um, these three branches are all relatively the same height. This one goes lower, which is great. Is that going to be a problem? Probably not. Um, let's figure out where the mana pool is going to go on this branch so that it's within range of that pool. And then grab some more wood. Alright, what is this again? This is changing the X. And he's at 198. And it goes up. So this is 10. It can go slightly further. Um, let's have it go up to there. And if we put a spark on it, we'll be able to know if it reaches. 
probably, I probably could make it even further. All right. Yep, it reaches, so we could make it further. What is causing this bit of lag? I'm not quite sure. Um, no, that ought to be fine. Uh oh, I'm out of jetpack fuel. All right, let's go get, let's go get some more power. is gaining you know it's kind of in between gaining and losing right now that's why I definitely need to upgrade this from hooch to fire water um, I have to calculate all of that yet because I'll be losing half of my vats from fire from hooch to fire water I don't want to make a bigger building so I'll just have to do another um, power system Maybe I'll put solar out here. Get some passive power of gen. Um, yeah, who knows? There we go. So that is decent. Um, let's build up this one. That's good for that. We could even put another branch here if necessary, a decorative one. Um, that was a little too bulky. Let's pop that out. They don't need to be connected. See if we can get this looking shapely. A little square at the moment. Same thing over here a little bit. Okay, I want that, and then we'll just trim this one in. And obviously, I need more wood again. All right, so right here, this connection needs to be shaped a bit better. And the branches are pretty much done, and we can start putting leaves on them. Alright. There we go. We 
get a sip of my coffee. So what do you guys think so far? Um, I'm thinking we should make two more dominant sparks while we're while I'm thinking about it for the portal. We need to decorate that area because I just kind of slapped the portal down when I needed it. <laughs> I didn't do anything fancy with it. I think I had a piece of gunpowder in here somewhere. Unless I used it up. There we go. Gunpowder. Mana powder. And then we need to get another war and another brick. I think that's it. So. Yep. This should take no time at all. Then we need to grab our pixie dust so that we can make the rune augments. And I know that there are already sparks on those mana pools. So I just have to get the augment onto the sparks. With the Gaia pylons on top, that might be a challenge. There we go. Two fire runes to make augments. And pixie dust. All right. Did I, ooh, there's no spark on that one. I need an actual spark on the one on top of the portal as well. Okay. So let's see here. We can get into the. We might need to break the pylons, which will disintegrate the portal for now. Maybe. Where did the pylon go? There it is. Okay. And then regular spark. <coughs> All right, so that should pull mana from there. Yep, into these. And All right. And that's empty. So that we're waiting for this to get more. I need to put a dominant spark on that one. All right, so we have a dominant spark on that one, a dominant spark on this one. Yeah. So we need to put a dominant spark on this one. That means doing the craft again. And Excuse me, I'm so sorry. This is look, I'm so getting so happy with the way this is looking. This is turning out to be really cool. And we don't even have any of like the buildy stuff in and none of the, um, the looks of enchanted stuff. None of the glittery, sparkly, cool stuff that I have planned for this area. Just because I love Batania and I get lost in doing Batania stuff <laughs> instead of actual building Batania stuff. Um, let's see, like this tree's gotta go, it was 
grew when Natura was added to the pack, and I don't like it in this forest. Same with the one that's up there. But I think I'm going to call it here for this e this morning. I am getting a sore throat, and I need to eat some lunch. But if you're still interested in watching some Minecraft, 99 Blocks is now streaming. He's been streaming for about 40 minutes, and he is on the Foolcraft 2 server. He has been doing a ton of work. A ton of work. So you need to go check out his Foolcraft Museum. It looks awesome. His base is looking amazing. So if you head on over there to 99 Blocks. Let's see if I did this correctly. There we go and go check him out enjoy your day i will be back here tomorrow evening for some pickle pack magical three so we're going to get into more magic and i will reveal some of the work i have done on my gothic base my gothic castle palace base thing so hope you had a good time take care folks i will catch you back here tomorrow bye